Yeah, so this is some ground I cut recently out of Glenwood, Washington. And uh, this is ex-industrial land that changed hands recently. And this was a shovel unit I was cutting. This little block here was kind of a ridge in between two draws. So the evening before, I flagged in a road up the top, opened it up. So uh, this morning, I got going in the dark, cut my way down. And I'm glad I'd walked it too, because this is fairly reasonable ground here, but it was quite steep in a place or two higher up. It's always nice to know where you're going in the dark. So, this is pretty nice wood. It's uh, kind of a mix of wood. It's a lot of red fir, but quite a lot of white wood too. White fir. And, uh, like I said, it's shovel ground. And, you know, what I did when I got started, I created a line like I like to do, cutting face. Pretty much as steep as I could climb the hill as much of an angle as I could to kind of minimize the angle that I was having to turn or th turn to throw the wood. So the wood, the bunches, are oriented straight up and down the hill, the roads at the bottom, or the road to be. So I'm cutting my way back down, making a pass down. What I wanted to talk about on this one is cutting around right away wood. And uh, I, I cut this right away and I uh, cut it into the unit. And I just wanted to kind of show, you know, how, how a little bit of forethought, planning when you're cutting right away can really make a big difference in recovery and ease of operating when you cut the unit. If, you know, if right away wood's still going to be on the ground. So looking down the hill, you can kind of see off the left, that's the existing kind of skidder road. It's going to be a truck road off to the left. And the first bunch you can really see is kind of off to the left, or off to the right swing down the hill you can kind of see the tops of it. So when I was cutting the right away, you know, as I've talked about in another couple of videos, I, that, that wood I threw it perpendicular to the road up the hill. And I cut out a little pocket as best I could. It's fairly steep. There was kind of a little bit of a cut bank because it was an existing you know, rough road anyhow. So I couldn't really climb up and open up, you know, a hole, but I did, you know, cut it out so it a little broader at the, at the bottom. So uh, that allowed me to, you know, kind of pack wood a little bit as I was getting, you know, away from the bundle and uh, getting close to the next one and throw wood up the hill. And what that does is it allows a little bit of space in between the bunches. And that's really important too. Um, and I'll show, I'll talk about that a little bit more here in a minute. But, and, you know, wood isn't always logged out or cut perpendicular to the road, but oftentimes it is. And, you know, no matter the orientation of the wood you're cutting, having the wood that you cut for the right-of-way perpendicular to the road is just really important. It allows you to work around the bunches and cut the wood, um, save it out, cut low stumps, and uh, um, just in basically do a good job of your cutting even though there's wood on the ground. So this little segment here, it's, it's, it's hard to see, I think, but I'm going to try to explain as best I can. I'm, 
I'm working in between two bunches of right away wood, and I'm at the top of basically the tips of both of them, kind of cutting my way up the hill. And I'm going to clean out the wood at the top of the space in between the two bunches of right away wood. And getting that stuff down and out of the way will allow me to back down in between the space between the two bunches and clean that wood out, get it on the ground, and then allow me space to walk up beside one to the left, go around the, t the bunch of right wood on the left, and keep on cutting. So, yeah, I don't know if that makes any sense, but again, I'm kind of thinking of somebody that maybe is wondering what I'm doing, maybe it's running buncher, maybe just started or is interested in the idea of running buncher. These are just some tricks that I think are pretty important and really just make the job go smoother, easier. I think if that's one thing I've learned and running buncher for a while is that uh, making things easier is just a good way to go about it you know it, uh, and the best way to do that is some some forethought planning and uh, just kind of figuring out what you're going to do before you get going ahead on her Yes, this is an uh, interesting uh, timber type here. It's, um, it's kind of an eastern type of ground. Um, it's, it's drier. Uh, you see a little bit more white wood. Um, and one thing I really noticed, and you can see from all the dust flying, the, the old stumps, they just turned to dust, which was kind of nice, actually because there were some pretty good sized stumps. And they weren't quite as much of an obstacle as what I'm used to working on with old stumps that are pretty sound. So yeah, this is kind of like the last tree. I faced it up on the way down. Pretty nice stick. So as you'll be able to see in a second, I'm going to, now I've got the top opened up, cleared out. I'll drop down in between the two bundles of right-of-way wood, get that stuff cleaned up. And then, like I said, I'll be able to, there's still room enough for me to walk up in between, between the right-of-way wood, the bunch I just cut, go up, get back into my face, and away I go up the hill. So, Anyhow, hope you find it interesting. Oh yeah, just for interest, that's uh, western larch down in there. You see that yellow conifer there. I actually planted that. I was kind of surprised to see, but hey, that's what they did. So as always, appreciate you watching. Thanks to my wife for all the work she puts into putting these videos together. Be safe.